Here we are on the lake. What a treat it is to be on the water. So many people love to fish, and Ron Allison is one of those people. He graciously agreed to take us out on the water to record this service, since our theme today is fishing. Let us gather our hearts in prayer. Loving God, what a privilege it is to be on the water, experiencing the smell of, of the lake, hearing the lap of the waves, and feeling the cool lake breezes. What a wonderful time of year. We thank you for the many ways that you bless us. Amen. Follow me, and I will make you fishes of men. Come here after me. I will make you to become fishers of men. Our scripture reading again is taken from the message, which is a paraphrase of the Bible. And our passage today is from Mark 1, verses 16 to 18. Passing along the beach of Lake Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew net fishing. Fishing was their regular work. Jesus said to them, come with me. I'll make a new kind of fisherman out of you. I'll show you how to catch men and women instead of perch and bass. They didn't ask questions. They dropped their nets and followed.
There are so many things that fishermen enjoy about fishing. They enjoy being alone, just them and their fishing rods and the water. The gentle lapping of the waves upon the shore or upon their boats is soothing and relaxing. They will spend hours fishing alone with their thoughts and in tune with nature. As a young girl, I would fish in our cedar boat with my dad. These are great memories. It wasn't so much about catching a fish as it was about being in the boat with my dad. It was just he and I alone in the boat. We didn't talk a whole lot. It was just a treat to be with him, spending time together with either a worm or frog for bait on the end of our fishing lines. We either trolled or just shut off the motor and just let the current take us wherever it would, just as we're doing now. If it was a good spot, we would anchor for a while. It was never about catching a big catch of fish. It was about being together in that little cedar boat with the five and a half Evan Rood motor. Mind you, catching a fish was always a thrill. We would take it back to the cottage and dad would clean it and give it to mom to cook or he would barbecue it over a charcoal fireplace. The taste of fresh fish was unbelievable. Commercial fishermen, like the ones in our Bible passage, had a different experience of fishing. It was their livelihood, and there was usually more than one person in the boat. They would use big heavy nets that had to be dragged into the boat with the catch of the day. Not only did they feed their own families, they sold their fish to feed other families and to purchase other essentials of life. When Jesus approached Simon and his brother Andrew, he told them to abandon their livelihood and family to follow him. The thing that always struck me about this story is their willingness to go. No questions asked. When Jesus follows you, calls you to follow him, you drop what you're doing and you follow. Jesus taught them how to fish for people. He wanted them to be his disciples, to learn about God and God's love, then to share that love with others. We are fishers of people, sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. We don't do it in words. We do it through our actions, through the way we live our lives, caring for others, extending hospitality, giving selflessly of our time. What a gift we have been given to be fishers of people. Thanks be to God. Amen. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me, if you follow me, if you follow me. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Hear Christ calling, come on to me, come on to me. Come on to me, hear Christ calling, come on to me, I will give you rest, I will give you rest, I will give you rest, hear Christ calling, come on to me, I will give you Thank you for spending time with us today. I hope that you have been given something upon which to reflect. May you experience the love of God throughout your days. May you be a fisher of people through your actions. Never be afraid. God will go with you each hour of every day. Go now in faith, 
steadfast, strong, and true. No, He will guide you in all you do. Go now in love and show you believe. Reach out to others so all the world can see. from above, go now in peace, in faith and in love. Amen, amen, Thank you for joining us again today, outdoors on the water and talking about fishing. And we hope that you'll join us again next week. And I wonder where our location will be then and what our theme will be. Bye for now.